Hello, my beautiful people. Yeah, welcome to my channel. My name is Esther, and this is Seed Styles. For those of you who are watching for the first time, this is Seed Styles. In today's tutorial, we're going to be learning how to attach crinoline to our teflon. This is a one inch teflon. If you can get uh, two inches or more than this, so it depends on what you want. But this is what I have. So I'm going to be using this one inch cleaner line. I'll be attaching it to the hem of my peplum. And this is my peplum. This is a, a 720 degree peplum that I cut. I'll go ahead and open them up and join them, then attach my cleaner line. And while attaching it, I will be using this. I will be using my hemming gum to attach it along, so that when I turn it and top stitch and turn it and iron it, everything will relax flat. So let me take us to the sewing machine so that we will see how we're going to attach it. Please, if this is your first time of stopping by, don't forget to click on the subscribe button and hit on the notification bell to get notified whenever i upload a video let's go to the sewing machine i'll go ahead and open my lining on one side remember it's a 720 degree peplum that i cut i will open all of them on one side so that i will join them together to form one it's a two-step peplum i will open one Open the other one so that we join them together to form a single one for the down one and the same thing with the upper one. Like this. So now that I've opened it, I will go ahead and pick the second one for this part, then join. The two sides together like this and sew it with half inch to form a single peplum. I'll go ahead and sew it with half inch to form a single peplum. I'll do the same thing with the face layer and then the lining. So I'll do the same thing with all of them. And then we'll show us how it looks like. So I've attached, I've joined the Peplums the two. Now I've gotten one. This is the second layer. This is the first layer, and this is the second layer, the shorter one. I've joined and I've joined the lining too. Now it's time to attach my lining with my crinoline. And this is the main reason for this tutorial. When you are placing your lining, it should not be equal on this side with your fabric so that when you finish attaching it you won't have to start dragging or it will not drag your lining so your main fabric i mean so when you are attaching it make sure you push the lining out a bit the lining should be out a bit like this before you start attaching it to your fabric go ahead and place it then my crino line, I hold my crino line like this. I will place it to not be close like that to the to the edge. It will not be equal. On the can we see the space? I will leave like quarter of an inch space before I place the crino line. Then I will sew at the edge of the crino line. I will sew at the edge. Very close. This way, I will be sewing my lining. My my, I will be my stitches. I will leave quarter of an inch, just like I've done here. Quarter of an inch away. Then, as I'm sewing it, I will also place my hemming gum. I will place my hemming gum on top of the crinoline, line, very close to that where I will stitch and start stitching.
Don't drag the crinoline. Don't drag anything. Just let it flow. Let your hand flow with the, with the direction. Don't drag anything. Take your time. Don't rush it. So I'll go ahead and top stitch it. I'll top stitch it. Then I'll do the same thing with the other one. And then I'll bring it for us to see how it looks like. We'll take it to the table and iron it. So guys, I've gone ahead to uh, turn it with my lining. This is how it looks like. I went, I top stitched it. And everything is relaxed, even without ironing. I'll go ahead and iron it. Iron the two. Then I will show us how the final outcome is. So I'm gonna have to lock it now. I will trim it, trim it up. And this is how our peplum is looking like. And see that it's, it's wavy. It's the crinoline that is making it to stand like this. So, even though it's a 720 degree peplum, but still, it don't have stand as it is standing. It's the crinoline that is making these edges to wave like this. And this is how it will be on the outfit. So when you attach it to your outfit, this is how it will be. Can we see? As I bend it, it will bounce back. That's what you are looking for. When you place it on your outfit, it will just be like this. If you want a fuller version of this, you go ahead and cut uh, it, uh, what's it called? A one, 1080 degree peplum. If you want it to be fuller, go ahead and cut a 1080 degree peplum so that you get a fuller, fuller version of this. So this is this one. I've done the same with the other one. I will either, when you are attaching it, you attach this one, the smaller one first, then you attach the longer one. Or if you don't want, if you do it that way, if you attach it that way, attach this one, the smaller one first before attaching this one, their waves will be separately. But if you want them to align, you go ahead and lock, attach the two together like this before attaching it. Both of them will be like this on your fabric. Both of them will be like on top of each other like this. But if you attach it separately, their waves will be separate. So this is the end of our tutorial. Please don't forget to subscribe. Love you all. God bless you all. God bless our nations, wherever you are watching me from. God bless Nigeria. Let's stay safe and show love to one another. Bye.